Hello everybody, you welcome to another episode of Solving the Samsung Issues. Okay, this is in regards to someone who posted on my previous video, um, Samsung Processing Field. He was having a problem to log in, so uh, he usually gets this prompt, server error, try again, whenever he tries to log in. And according to him, he actually created his account and wants to use his Samsung. So let's delve into this. So now I'm going to try to verify that. I've just gone to my Samsung account option on the settings. I'm going to select the account I want to log in with, okay? And um, let's see, just a minute. So check out the following. Usually you have to check all this up, these terms and condition and click agree. Now this is where the error pops up because I want to register my phone number, okay? So I'm going to select the region I'm from Nigeria, so I'm just going to select Nigeria, okay? Then I'm going to insert, um, input the, the phone number, okay? I want to actually add up to my Samsung account. So just a minute. Um, for, for, then let's send code. Can you see that? Server error occurred. Try again later. Now, one way to do this is go to your browser, okay? Samsung.com. That's where you go to on your browser, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is just to sign in. Sign in with your account ID because you've created the account already. So you have to sign in with your account ID here. So I'm just going to put my um, email address, then click on next. Then I have to put my password, of course you know for my newly created email all right for my samsung account so let me put that in so once that is done i'm going to click sign in okay then i'm signing in from the browser right now remember yeah i have to click on these policies to agree now let's wait now i'm going to be signed in here as you can see, I've been signed in here on the browser, okay? But no phone number has been registered. So that is what I'm going to solve. We want to solve that server error issue. All right, so I'm gonna click on no phone number registered, okay? Just a minute, I want to see all the options here. So let's click on no phone number registered. All right, so it's asking for password to verify that i'm the one trying to make these changes so i'm just going to put that in since i know my password i click confirm so once that i've, I've done that so now i can now register the phone number you have to register the phone number from here okay you can register it from your device so let me select my country again nigeria just a minute where are you bro okay then i put back the same phone number i wanted registering with remember the phone number has to be a new phone number not some previous phone number attached to some uh, previous samsung account so i'm putting back the phone number to receive the code you see i'm not gonna get that error of course so let's see you see a verification, a verification code has been sent to your phone okay where is it here it come so from samsung account i can see the code 6946586 so i've just received the code right remember this is not on the device we are doing this tutorial on the browser so let me go to my messages so you see the code there clearly that i've just received from samsung okay i've received this code so let's go back to the browser to impute the code think it's 6548 all right so i click verify this time around now it has been verified and that is why i've been shown these codes now this is where we solve the problem now i can actually um copy any of these codes but let's see what is here you can use this backup okay all right so now what we're gonna do is you can just copy let me just copy one of these, okay? Now, just a minute. 
I just checked on the security section to look at the backup codes again, the sec security parts of um, my Samsung accounts. I just want to look at these various options. Now let's go for backup codes again. The same backup codes I've displayed previously, just one I want to open from here. So here we are again. Okay. All right, um, now we can still copy our code. Oh, we copied it previously, right? So now we're going to um, go back to the device, all right? So, but let me be sure I copy this, all right? So let me minimize, go back to Samsung account, and I'm going to repeat the same procedure again, okay? Just wait a minute. Um, then I'm going to select the account again, the same account I logged in with to update the phone number to prevent that error now let's wait a bit it's trying to load and then all the usual checks okay agree to all and click on agree and um, this time around i'm going to click didn't get the verification code okay you don't have to put that code here just click and you click on verify with backup codes from here okay now this is where we're going to put that um, code we got from the sms okay just put it in and then we we'll click verify just a minute yeah verify and you see google and samsung accounts linked so we've actually solved that issue of server error okay it's pretty easy can you see that i've just been signed in now this is just how to solve this issue signed in to your samsung account can you see that so this is pretty easy doing this method all right that way you solve the problem of server error issue while trying to log in so if you have a different problem if it's a samsung processing problem okay samsung processing field problem i've done that video in the previous um, tutorial and it's 100% working and I believe this is 100% working for you. So if you have any other problem or some other error that comes up, I'm here to solve that issue. This is going to be the second 100% working solution for some of these um, Samsung issues, okay? You don't have to blame your phone, okay? Just don't have to your problem. Your phone has no problem. It's just some technical glitches, okay? Due to the ROM and probably an update will solve it, you know? But this is just um, how to help you guys solve this problem. It doesn't have to do with clearing your app data. It doesn't have to do with restarting or resetting your network settings in this case. Okay, this is server error. So the phone has no proper connectivity to the, the main source that's from Samsung themselves because Samsung is upgrading and they are producing a lot of phones so they can actually concentrate on providing data services or uh, prompt services to all their samsung users on their mobile devices so that is why this site is always available so thanks for watching